Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Welcome back and today we are going to discussing about emulator setup and here first we'll see for there are two ways we can able to set up two ways okay and first one i'll show you one android already created a project one and second one is creating more location the way the similar form of creation is same the way we need to see the ui is different okay how we can able to see and for this we need to open for android studio first okay which i explained in the starting time okay how to install for android studio i already explained for that okay please go through that okay once you installed and also we uh, i explained like how to create like a project and all setup and everything i explained okay and in case if you are already seen that video maybe you will see for this particular uh page okay when whenever you open uh that particular android studio you will see for this particular one okay once you see here there is a tools okay there is a tools okay in a tools if you see there is a device manager device manager if you click the device manager you will see already we created when uh, while we are setting up in for uh, this particular uh, android studio and all that moment i showed the night watch also okay here you can able to see for device manager okay in this device manager if you scroll like this okay no problem how much you can able to scroll you can scroll it will scroll that okay uh, then you need to create virtual uh, devices there right you have to click virtual device once you click the virtual device you can able to see this is the view okay these are the phones you have pixel xl and pixel 7g pro and you can able to see there is a icon it is presented this is based upon this actually it is already stored that particular pixel into our location it means in device it is presented if you want other than that anything you can able to choose any one there is no issue for that okay and after that you need to click for next okay and the next it will give you for versions the system image like os you can able to show os it will give you for r r is r basically uh, this already i have done in the old one because that is that time it is already installed that's why it is showing for r as well but by default uh, one version will be enabled okay anything you can able to choose yes sv2 uh, this term is api 34 anything you can able to install apart from these two okay if you install this one you uh, maybe your emulator may be connected may not be connected there is a issue will be happen okay uh, for that you have to choose based upon uh, anything yes or sv2 and here up to here you can able to install api 34 also sometime it will work sometime it will not work okay this is a google inch level one okay and this is the one up to here you can able to install there is no issue for that okay and after that we need to after choosing here you need to start button will be there you can uh, click for next and next and we can able to install it okay this is the one process and second way also i'll show you okay the viewing this one it is very like uh, <coughs> is a ui looking is very uh, small that's why i'm what i can do right i'll go for here c drive and users location and here there is android studio project and this is my app application and before that i need to close this particular android studio i'll close it and i'm going to control shift and delete it okay my project got deleted okay now there is no project now again i'm going to do for android studio opening okay now i'm in here 
Okay, you can able to see, right? This is already deleted. Just you can remove. And once you remove, this is a starting time. Before creating a project, you can able to see this is the page. Okay. And here is a more actions are presented. Just click on more actions. There is a virtual device manager. There is a virtual device manager. Click that particular device. And again, same page which you saw already. The same page. Okay. Create device and again here and choose for <coughs> anything i'm going to choose for pixel 7 pro okay pixel 7 pro i'm choosing now i'm going to click for next and here you can able to choose for anything version i'm going to download for this particular version for this is what will happen it will download for 1.4 gb into your system 1.4 gb it will store download and in install it will take couple of minutes actually in case if your inter uh, internet connection is very fast then it will take for cup uh, just in a, within a minutes it will close quickly okay in case if your uh, uh, internet becomes slow it will take for more time okay I'll pass my video once it is completed here, then I'll show you. Okay. Now you can see this is the one it will uh, give you the page to completion. Okay. After it will download for everything, you can able to see the package and everything, and even it is installing and everything. Which version of uh, API it is installed means what uh, OS it is installed and everything it is given here. Okay. And just click on finish. Once you finish and it will be like this and you need to select and click for next. Okay, here it will be Pixel 7 Pro API 33 and you can able to choose for any name. There is no issue. If you want, you can change the name of the uh, AVD that is a virtual device and virtual device. You can change the name of that. That also fine. No means okay. Okay, even it will show you that uh, which Android version it is installing, which is a, this particular view or this particular view, which version you want. Okay, I'm choosing for this particular version. Okay, this is a view and I'm going to make it for finish. Once I finish, you can able to see my virtual uh, device is ready now. There is a, you can able to see here, uh, Android 13.0 Google Play. 18.4 64-bit version okay and uh, here api version is 33 here 13 is the android version 33 api version and this is the size of uh, 513 mb and this is my action if i click here this is a well change it okay you can see now once i start this is a start and this is the resume and this is the edit option now you can see my AVD is going to set up. This is my virtual device, Android virtual device. You can, uh, you will see for how your mobile looks, similar format it will looks. Okay. <coughs> Wait a couple of minutes, you can see for that as well, everything. Now it is set up for your device. You can see this is the options. If you want volume increment and decrement, a rotated anything and picture. If you want uh, this is a zoom in, zoom out. This is a navigation bar. So this is a clicking for backward. It's a home page and it is an overview page. Uh, and basically in Android, uh, we are going to get the actions, right? The same actions you can able to see here. If you want shut down, you can able to click for this one, like a uh, uh, emulator lock. Emulator lock. Uh, this basically it will take for based upon your internet speed. Okay, that you have to remember. Now pixel is uh, saying is ready. <coughs> Sorry. Now you can see my pixel is ready now. This is my Google and you can able to see 
and any action you can able to perform there is no side car you have to up and you need to see for any action okay Sometimes it will take like this. Okay, this is my emulator registry. If you click this one, it will go on click, close backward. And you can able to up and you can able to see all the devices. And next we will say how to install for APK file and how to download and install into this particular emulator. We'll see into the next video session. Okay, thank you.